Hi guys, it is such a pleasure to talk to you about this, uh, this lovely film. Uh, let me start with Catherine uh, by saying that I have always problems uh, following storylines on time altering or time loops machine uh, films. Um, probably because my intelligence, does, my intelligence does not reach that high. However, however, somehow this film um, it is much more than that. It, it has a deeper story. It is sweet. It feels natural. And, and this time loop thing does not distract you at all from the core of the story. So how did you react it when you first read, uh, first read the script? Oh, Felix, I think that you got it. I think you get the whole message. It has nothing to do with the time loop, really, because I feel like growing up, what the movie's about to me is you always feel like tomorrow's never going to come when you're a teenager and you feel like, you know, math class is the longest thing ever. And like, you're never going to graduate. You're never going to fall in love. You're never going to do anything. You're just waiting for life to start. And um, this movie's about a girl who doesn't want her life to start. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to go and dream bigger. And she meets this boy, Mark, played by our lovely Kyle Allen, <laughs> who really inspires her to have more hope for a better future and you know sometimes you need other people to help you grow and he's one of those people for her and um so i feel like that's what the heart of the story is i don't know what do you think yeah it is it is it, it, it has a, a a lot of things happening on the film so so but, well it, it, it's not mine to, to talk about the film but <laughs> uh, kyle what, what was your reaction when you read the script and found out that you were going to to work with with Catherine? oh my gosh i was so excited i was so thrilled i think i threw I was with two of my best friends when I got the call that I that I got it, and and I got to I got to celebrate that with them. And I think we were screaming our heads off in a parking lot, um, in Hollywood somewhere. Um, <clears throat> yeah, no, that's that is what we did. Um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was really it was it was a, it was a dream come true. I remember reading it and be like, I would I I would kill this. I would do I would do anything to have this part. And then I got it. And then <laughs> the rest, the rest was amazing. Oh, that's such an incredible team. Um, that gave me such an incredible opportunity. Um, yeah. <laughs> Other than this film, do you have an, a, a favorite time loop uh, film, Catherine and then Kyle? We, we love Groundhog Day. Yeah. And we love Happy Death Day. Oh, great. <laughs> yes, <laughs> happy death day. Hashtag just go wrong for life. <laughs> okay, so so Captain, one last question. Um, uh, in your last two movies, including this one, you have to deal with or face incredible circumstances. What is what what do you find particularly attractive about these type of films? Oh, I mean, I think that I love movies that take you out of reality and make you experience things that you never would and um for me it's just fun to keep it grounded and keep it real and when you get to work with great actors like kyle um it makes it easy so i think that i just try to follow who's behind the project you know we had you know amazing uh producers on this from film nation aaron Ryder, ashley fox who know how to make good stories come to life and it wasn't like just i learned so much um So I think it's just about the people you surround yourself with. Great, great. Well, my time is up. Thank you very, very much uh, for this and a lot of success with this lovely film and your career. So thank you. And again, stay safe and healthy, whatever you are. Thank you very much. Thank you, Felix. Thank you. Thank you.